Hey everybody, I'm Tony. And I'm Christine. And this is TNC Travels. We wanted to make a video about the Eiffel Tower and how to make it the most magical experience possible. The Eiffel Tower is a defining symbol of Paris, France. It was built in 1889 and it's a very popular icon to visit. Roughly 7 million tourists visit a year. One of the things I wanted to tell everybody was that it's really easy to get to. It's actually pretty centralized to the city of Paris. We took a taxi from the train station to our hotel. We were lucky enough to stay in a hotel no more than a 10 minute walk from the tower. And we recommend that if you can walk there, do it. Uh, it will really surprise you out of nowhere. As you approach the Eiffel Tower, you're walking through this sort of uh, tree laden area and you turn the corner and there's the tower and it's all its glory. It was a really magical moment for me and Christine to see it the way that we did. As soon as you know you're going to Paris, first thing you do is go on the Eiffel Tower website, which will, pro will provide you the link below and book your ticket. You have a couple options when visiting the Eiffel Tower. You can go up to the second floor or you can go all the way up to the third floor, which is at 900 feet. There is a price difference when visiting the second floor versus the third floor. I believe the second floor is 16 euros and the third floor is 25 euros. And there's a price break if you have kids. Now, when we, the reason we're giving you this um, advice, because for us, we booked too late and did not get a chance to go all the way up to the third floor at the 900 feet. So we recommend visiting the tower two different times. Uh, so that's booking ahead of time for one of the two days that you're gonna visit. We recommend the first time you are in Paris approaching the tower, you take advantage of the public parks surrounding the tower. So there's these great public parks that are right around the tower where you can make a picnic with your friends, your loved ones, your family, and be sure to bring your own food and drinks and blanket and just kind of veg out and relax and enjoy the scenery. We were able to go in the middle of the summer where the weather was perfect. And we actually can tell you definitively that we enjoyed our time surrounding the Eiffel Tower more than we did at the official entry and going all the way up. That felt a little more touristy. Along the same lines of taking advantage of the public parks is the recommendation to go before sunset. If you take advantage of the public park and you go before sunset, you're seeing the tower in all its glory in broad daylight. And then just the way that the city is laid out and the placement of the tower, you see the sunset right behind the Eiffel Tower. It was very romantic. It was super relaxing and people are just playing music and again, just taking advantage of the public park. And then the Eiffel Tower sparkles every hour. It's very, very cool. And when it sparkles, everybody screams and cheers and you're like, whoa, I love this. Let me stay around for one more hour so it can sparkle again. So that's a very cool experience. Top of the hour, it would sparkle for about five minutes and you could see people taking selfies and kissing under the tower. And again, it's the city of love. So it was a super romantic time at the top of every hour. So now that you've taken advantage of the surrounding area, maybe the day before your official tickets, now it's time to actually go into the tower and take advantage of your official ticket. So we went up to the second floor. And to be honest, it was still a memorable experience. So we still got a chance to see the whole city. Um, it's still beautiful up there. You still get the experience of going up in the elevator. And I do believe some people choose to go up the stairs and down the stairs as well. Also, please note, security is very tight at the Eiffel Tower. You will have to go through the security line. So make sure to pack light. If you have your backpacks and strollers or luggage, try to leave them at the hotel or your hostel. Do not take them with you if that's your last day. So pack a light um, backpack with all your snacks or your goodies that you need and uh, wait in the security line. But the good thing about if you do have your ticket in advance, you will not have to purchase your ticket, then go to the security line. You can go directly to the security line. When you book your tickets in advance, you also get a time slot to enter. So 30 minutes before, 30 minutes after. So now that you've actually entered the grounds, we recommend you be patient because there's gonna be a lot of people. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, there's up to 7 million tourists that visit the Eiffel Tower every year. And once you get in, it's gonna be jam packed. So you just gotta be patient going through security, they jam pack the elevator to go up, whether you're gonna stop at the second floor or you're gonna go all the way to the summit. 
they pack you in like sardines and it can be pretty uncomfortable with that many people in such a tight space but you just got to be patient and go with the flow being in the elevator only takes a minute or so to get you up to where you need to go and so again just be patient now once you're actually within the grounds of the eiffel tower it's easy to spend a lot of money so here's some tips and tricks on how to avoid that take your own snacks pack your own water bottles we highly recommend doing this pretty much anywhere in Europe, but the Eiffel Tower is a good example of that. You're going to pay a couple bucks for a bottle of water where it's a fraction of the price when you buy it in town. There's a gift shop within the tower itself, but we got to be honest, we saw the same exact products they sell in the tower while we were walking out and about in the city of Paris. So we wanted to support the locals. We bought our replica uh, Cathedral of Notre Dame we bought our replica Eiffel Tower in the city and when we got to the tower itself to see that it was the exact same products was kind of a, a relief or a shock if you will so there's like food truck style food stands at the ground level when you first show your entry fee to the uh, security and there's hot dogs and hamburgers and all that you will find that there is a restaurant in the tower as well and it's very touristy. It's meant for the tourists. It's got a pretty generic menu. We like to eat from local cuisine restaurants. There's a lot of restaurants around the Eiffel Tower that you can have a nice meal, um, reasonably priced. So definitely check that out. One of the other cool things that we were able to do in Paris was take a boat tour that uh, rode along the water right outside the Eiffel Tower. So it gave us a perspective and an angle of the tower that we really didn't get when we were on the ground. Now, this is not a uh, must do by any means. It was just an extra tour that we took and we enjoyed it very much, but it, it was cool to see the Eiffel Tower at night and during the day from a boat on the water. And we've got some great video and some great photos of us uh, during that tour. So in conclusion, here's what I have to say about the Eiffel Tower. It's a must see, absolutely. It's something that you're gonna wanna see at least once in your lifetime. But the most, or the biggest surprise for me and Christine was that we enjoyed the surrounding areas more than we did the official tour itself. And I think it was because it gave us better angles and better views of the tower to really appreciate it more than when you're in it or on it. Uh, and there's this great little area that's actually a public area right beneath one of the anchors. And I took some video footage I'll show here where you can just literally look up and, and be at the bottom of the tower. And it was a really cool experience. Uh, it, again, paying for the tour itself and going up to the various levels is a really cool experience and one that some or most people are gonna wanna do. But for me and Christine, enjoying the surrounding areas was much more enjoyable. So those are some tips and tricks when visiting the Eiffel Tower. Let us know if you've been or you're about to go in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be notified of content uploaded regularly. You can find other videos like this on the channel as well. Thanks for watching our video about the Eiffel Tower. We'll talk to you soon.